My man Yu-Gi-Oh is not going to keep that promise of marrying TC. In fact, we never gave her the promise. I think TC got the wrong idea. But what's going on right now with some of the other disciplines? Uh, Not ours, but Frenica? She's getting not tortured, but some creepy shit is happening with Frenica and like, you know, her her master. The ketchup and mustard, dude. They absolutely suck. There is a tournament that's going to be happening. There's actually a lot of separate tournaments, right? There's like the school tournament. There's like a four empire unification tournament and a bunch of stuff. And you're just supposed to win them all and become a noble just so that he can marry Teaster or something. I don't think that's really going to happen. I hope today's episode we're going to pop off and, you know, dunk on mustard and save Frenica. Well, let's begin today's reaction. Uh-oh, the weather is not looking too good. 4.30, Bell? 4.30 p.m.? Uh-oh, the mustard and ketchup do something? Oh,ちょっとショトール。ユージは It is. What's going on? Oh, she's Frenica. That's right, Mustard. What do you ask her to do this time? What kind of service? Okay. Just realized, remember every SAO season there's some creepy motherfucker without a doubt there's some creepy ass dude? Whom Baird is basically that in this part right now. He's in Roni. Taboo Index. Oh shit! The episode title's Taboo Index. Yo, it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> Humbert. What are these losers doing, bro? The fucking Isekai demon, demon, like, Lord looking ass, fucking champagne, fucking. <laughs> Um, ketchup is over here, right? The bottles are here, they're just what? They're just fucking drinking champagne? Nah. Where's Kirito at? They're gonna just lie. うん。あの二人は友人とのとに立つ主席及び自責の上級集権士に突然の面会を求めるとは、お二人のそばつきだ。ああ。ただ。ええ。ああ。ファイブイブハビングアカンバーセーションウィズ Nah, I don't agree. Fuck off. Yeah, today? Depending on what the status of t and Roni is, we might need to break a fucking taboo index or two. Like, I hope Yuji just like does something crazy. I hope we break some fucking rules, bro. I hope we do something insane. Gonna just assume that whatever incense, this pink smoke, some sort of aphrodisiac, and you're doing some creepy ass shit with Tisa and Roni. <laughs> creepy dude, why you bring me to your fucking bed? <laughs> Where the girls at? Okay, okay, they're safe for now! <laughs> So that uh, they disrespected you? 
As in, like, they commanded an audience with you. So you said, let's just tie him up BDSM style. Okay. <laughs> front of T-Says, bro? Yeah. Maybe I'm definitely not putting my face on Ryo's. Fuck that. That's a bad look. But like me on T-Says face or something. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this might be the creepiest essay has gotten in a while. Like, let's think about it. Oberon was fucking creepy. He was. But like, to this extent? No, 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 no. I remember, no, 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 the groping he did. Yo, I remember that. That was weird on Asa. That was weird as fuck. And GGO. Uh, Tushino, uh, these, these dudes, it's kind of, pr it's pretty bad. It's, it's just, what, did, what does that thing have to do for this shit, bro? Like, I just fucking, uh, every time, the fucking... This author of essays has got to make the most creepiest dudes always to make them look evil. Fuck it, I'm in. No. Break the rules. These rules exist to be broken. This taboo index is dumb as fuck. Everything is so corrupt. Everything is so insanely wrong morally, ethically. Kill them and kill the people that create the taboo index. Let's fake our own fucking taboo index. Break that shit. Break that shit. What's happening to Yujiu here? I don't think this is Ryos's power. He's just like... The AI UGO is just like, like succumbing to the taboo index. Like his leg just fell down. It's like as if like he just was forced to do it because it's taboo index. You know, he's like literally obeying the law exactly. But Alice, she reached out and broke the taboo index. That's the interesting thing. Remember, Alice was like, oh, shit, let's go test down. But you just the exact opposite of like, oh, I must submit no matter what. <laughs> How, how descriptive do you need to show this? Honestly, you don't have to go into this much detail. This is like the lowest form of fan service, man. Straight up. This shit is the most heinous, lowest form of fan service. I hate this shit. It is so disgusting. It's so creepy. Honestly, why anime watchers get a lot of hate and flack for creepy ass shit like this. Like, there's there's no need to do this. There's other ways to make them look bad, but really, you gotta fucking do this shit? <laughs> Where the fuck is Kirito at? Aye, <laughs> aye, system alert, right? Do something. His eyes. Please fucking activate. Fucking do something. But that eye is probably the reason why he's cucked by the taboo index right now. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> That's crazy. A1 Pictures is insane for doing this. Like, genuinely insane. The amount of detail and animation shown for Ryo's here, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Brother! Now is not the time to be having a fucking monologue! Throw that sword on them! Break it. Fuck the law! Dude, that eye is about to go buggy! System alert! System alert again! We see this shit! So last time this happened, it was because we saw Alice, right? Getting taken away. And Kirito wanted Yujiro to move, but you know, we cannot go against the Integrity Knights. 
And if you were to do that, you are violating the taboo index. So system alert shows up to many other people. I don't think this is unique to Yu-Gi-Oh then. Maybe to everybody. As soon as they're really close to, you know, break the taboo index, this system alert happens. I'm not sure. But specific to Yu-Gi-Oh, if this is unique to Yu-Gi-Oh, like last time, remember? He tried to save Alice, system alert happened. And I thought that maybe the system alert was denoting that Alice is some kind of anomaly. She probably is. But this seems like it's like right before Taboo Index broken. It's like, oh, warning, warning. Oh, 871. I got a feeling Kirito's gonna come in and do the dirty deed. UGO Loki, I, I, based on the way that this is going, I think Kirito's the one that's gonna break the index right now. Where is he? He should be showing up anytime soon. Nah, 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 he, he deserves way worse than this bullshit, bro. You got off easy. I hope you fly from blood loss so bad for the fucking girls. I know Yuji meant to help, but the moment that he slashed, they went from like complaining and saying senpai to mind broke with this blood splattering over them. Nah. Show your true colors as an upper three noble, man. Ew, disgusting fourth rank wants my durability? Nah. Why does not give a fuck, huh? Like, I'm in calm. Wonder why the ear blew off, right? Sorry, wonder why the eye blew up. Specifically, the system alert eye. What is the meaning of that? Because, like, Alice broke the taboo index, but her eye didn't blow up. He, there is something that just blocking him from acting. It just, the whole animation there, he was so, trying so hard to do it, but it's almost as if the system's like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Then as soon as the eye broke, then he was able to commit to being the taboo index. Why? Because that eye, that system alert thing was the one holding him back, and now he can break the taboo index freely he wants? I'm not sure, but that thing was definitely holding him back, and now it's gone. Okay, I'm like, Humbert, what are you doing right now? I thought he was still trying to get in on some fucking action right now, before he dies or something. Okay, he's tying up his arm. Sorry, that was kind of important. What did you say? Generally, the noble's judicial authority only applies to lesser nobles and residents of our holdings, okay? Okay, again, remember, upper nobles can basically just, like, do whatever the fuck they want to lower people. Ew, stop it with your tongue. Okay? As in, like, he can't break the taboo in this because Yuji is a criminal now, I guess. Kirito <laughs> should show up now. Yuji's boyfriend's about to show up. Nah, man. Yuji's boyfriend's about to show up. You monologue too long. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, the system can't detect that Yuji broke the taboo index because something about his eye being blown up suddenly, like, put him off the fucking system? Like, I don't know. Like, is something about the eye, the system alert? Yes, with, with it gone, he was able to act, but it'd be pretty interesting if it's like, what? No, he didn't break no system, you know, taboo index. He's off the grid right now. <laughs> he had to fucking bring it there. He had to fucking talk about the flowers, bro. 
Even the goblins are better. What the fuck? Was that that much damage? He took so much mental damage there from the goblin line. I thought he was start crying there for a second. So, lore wise, the guidance of Stacia here refers to. Sorry. Stacia is supposed to be some kind of god, goddess of this world, some sort of big lord, you know, blessing of Stacia or something, guidance of Stacia. What was Stacia again? Does anybody know? I'm not too sure. <laughs> and then Kirito's gonna be like, beep boop beep boop. Ah, it's that skill from SAO. I know how to counter it. Beat her. Golden already! He can do it on command! Oh, it's green now! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Humbert, T C and Roni just all watching from the bed tied up. Even you know Humbert is also tied up, you know, in his arm right now. What the fuck? He almost really looks like demonic, bro. Holy fucking shit. And like, even the sword is exuding such a dark demonic aura. <laughs> <laughs> and then Raz is gonna be like, oh, Humbert! Humbert, my love, please, durability transfer! Please, Humbert! And then Humbert gonna be like, Bitch! I asked you first! Fuck you, you deserved it! Disarmed! <laughs> But Kirito doesn't have the system alert going on because obviously he's not an AI, right? The whole thing about, you know, project aristization was to have these AI NPCs try to come to their own conclusions and try to think independently and maybe some of them can, can break the taboo in this. And if they can kill, if they can break those laws, that's what Kikuoko is specifically looking for. So I guess the system alert not showing up in his eye makes sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Humbert, if you have any modicum of self-respect, you're gonna say no. Just walk out, bro. This guy's a loser, man. He's showing his true colors. Yeah, untie your rope on your cut arm and tie me up instead. This frog jump is fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> like a fucking frog. <laughs> Die. Die. Dude, Ryus Loki is just like putting up the greatest poses of all time today. Like, this is rivaling the one where he jumped in the bed after taking his robe off. Like, that scene was so ridiculous when he jumped on the bed like that, too. <laughs> Kirito, you better not tie Ryos up. Kirito, don't. Why? Oh, he's glitching out. He bugging out. He actually bugging out. You see those glitching flames? Whoa, 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 whoa. So you see him glitching. What's going on right now? Is he about to die? Oh, he's actually bugging out. Ryo's Loki hard carry in today's episode. <laughs> if we not, if we ignore the creepy ass shit, like <laughs> he is a great source of content today. Oh my god, <laughs> look at him! 
I don't know. It was... I don't think this is simply his durability going down and dying. There was this, like, contradiction of taboo and life, death, right? Because, like, the contradiction here was if Ryos were to order Humbert to give him the rope or something, there was that comment made regarding, hey, it's going to break the taboo index. Am I right? That's, that's how I understood that. So now the contradiction, the, the, the outcome is you either break the taboo index and live or you don't break the taboo index and you might die, right? And in trying to decide what to do in his head, the AI could not overcome this limitation of the system. Because again, not every character can come to their own conclusion to break the taboo index. Kikuo could remember, he said he's specifically looking for those characters that can do it. He couldn't do it. Yu-Gi-Oh could. Alice could. Ryos was not built like that. He's just, and then it was just like a system overload, right? And he just, boom, done. Or, yes, he just had Sachi Wi Fi. Playing this shit with fucking other family members, with like six other members using the same fucking Wi Fi, 15 megabits per second up, bro, and down. Yeah, that was the Sachi ping. <laughs> <laughs> Cry, bro. Seethe, bro. I'm kind of worried that Humbert's gonna come back and do some dumbass shit, but hey, at least he's disarmed now. Maybe he's gonna have like a like, a, like an iron arm later on. <gasps> Wonder what's gonna happen with Yuji. Will the Integronites come for him? <laughs> no, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> What are we gonna do about your eye, bro? You just gonna have a fucking eye patch? Can we do durability transfer for his eyeball? Integrity Knights, Integrity Knights. Uh oh, are they coming for us? Oh no! It's the guy again that showed up in episode one for Alice. Here we go. Yeah. Deja vu. Yuji doesn't completely remember it yet. Yeah. They're trapped in on Yujiyo. <laughs> Fucking snitch. Why does it do that? There's no reason for it to show up and do that, other than for us, the audience, to know, like, you know, they're keeping track. Like, there's no reason. In fact, it's against their best interest to let other criminals' potentials know that, you know, they've been tracked, right? It just, like, shows up. <laughs> You're in trouble now. We're gonna get you. Bye-bye. And another thing that you gotta really wonder is... The whole point of Project Addicization is to, again, find people who are capable of breaking the taboo index like this, to commit murder at, to a degree at some point, right? People that can go against the law, to think independently. It is not in, you know, Kikoku's best interest to let, you know, these integrity knights take, you know, people like Yuji and Alice and kill them. In fact, them taking Yuji and Alice, it should be like a fucking royal invitation, right? It should be the red carpets are fucking flowing, like, congratulations! You beat the system. You're the chosen ones. You know, they should be doing that kind of fucking thing. No, 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 Yuji, oh, it's okay. No, 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 Yuji, you better on the goblins. <laughs> yeah. For sure, he's a human. Yeah. <laughs> he's as close as a human he can get, I guess, but like, you know. <laughs> he's just like a human, man. Man. No, I think there is something to be said here, though, beyond the AI memes, right? If you keep hanging around with these such realistic AI NPCs that behave like human, at a point, you're going to actually side with the AI NPCs and think that they are one of your kind, right? The reason, again, why Kikoka can never think like that is because he empathizes with the SDF members. But if Kikoka was in Kirito's shoes right now, and if he had this bond with yu -Gi -Oh, I doubt he'd be saying the same shit. The eye, man. What are we going to do about that eye?
Oh no, the big bad police is here. Oh! Sister. Okay. Are we in trouble? Is that for his eye? Wait! I. <laughs> That's a bullshit fucking system art. Reconstruct lost organ? What is the limitation of this lady? What? Reconstruct lost organ? What kind of organs can you reconstruct later? The heart as well? Like what? And it's back. Hey, it's back! Escort. Uh, integrity Knights. Broke a seal. What is that seal she's talking about? Just simply the taboo index? Hmm. <laughs> of course it will. He's the main character. Honestly, I'm surprised that we didn't think about doing this. Like, what is the whole point of going to the fucking academy to become integrity nice to get close to the cathedral? Motherfucker, Alice got chained up and dragged to the top of the cathedral as soon as she broke the taboo index. We should have done the same shit from the beginning. Could have saved us 10 goddamn episodes, bro. We gonna get flown. Wait, our escort is Alice. That's gotta be her, right? Time skip, Alice. She's like a sword maiden now. Dude, it's her. It's her. It's her. So she broke a taboo index and then became an integrity knight for the Axiom Church. All right. She's the overseer of the capital city. Arisu. Oh. It's her. Arisu Synthesis 30. Would she have a surname before? And she doesn't seem to recognize Yuji or Kirito, huh? I wonder if she's just playing it up, but like, she doesn't seem to remember. Maybe she's been brainwashed? I don't know. Zuberg? That was a surname, right? She had a surname before, right? Alice Synthesis 30? Is she the 30th fucking clone? Huh. And that's today's episode of SAO. And as creepy as it was, it was also pretty hype. And Ryos, as creepy as it was, he did deliver on some funny ass shit. And we got to learn a lot more, right? About Well, we didn't get to learn, learn a lot more, but a lot more things were shown to us. About how Yuji was able to break the taboo index as his eyes exploded with the system alert, you know, I guess, warning him that, hey, you're really close to, you know, defeating, you know, overcome, you're breaking the taboo index right now. You know, Kirito versus Ryos is amazing. Obviously, we're beaters, so we know how to fucking do everything. Glad that Ryos died. And that was such an interesting scene with Ryos trying to figure out if he should break the taboo index or, you know, just die, right? And that just system overload, he could not do the same thing that Yuji was doing. He was simply not a chosen one. And now that we broke the law, we're obviously going to be taken in by our escort. But Alice, who seems to be Alice, she's she's not Alice. She's Synthesis 30. And she sees Yuji and Kirito, but no reaction. So, I don't know. Maybe the memories are still locked away in there somewhere, but the plot is progressing and we're getting closer to the truth. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.